Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel on today's video. We have this box over here, which is extremely massive and extremely heavy. We're gonna be doing an unboxing, not really an unboxing and setup, but we're going to get this unboxed. This is the brand new Axis Create 6060 machine. Now, I did a video a couple months ago on their 6060 machine that they first came out with, and that was a really good machine that was belt driven. It had a few little quirks on it as far as the controller box and the drive belts and all that stuff, where it was re relocated and I really wasn't a fan of that and they took that advice to heart and they came up with a brand new machine that they sent me over here. This 24 by 24 is going to be awesome. Not only that, it has linear rails, it's ball screw driven, dual linear rails all the way around, massive motors. It comes with a spindle, a 700 watt router technically as the spindle up to 30,000 RPM. So this thing is absolutely loaded right out of the box. And so what we're going to do is I'm not going to unbox it on camera. I'm going to go ahead and get it unbox, lay out the parts, and if there's anything weird about it, we'll go ahead and talk about that then, and then I'm going to do a quick assembly off camera, and then we're going to do a project. So that's how we're going to do this video. If you want to check out their other option that they have, which is belt driven, it also comes with a 700 watt. It's just not as powerful as this machine is. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and get this thing open and lay out the parts. All right, here we go. All right guys, check this out. I just wanna show you that this box that this thing comes in is absolutely massive. Everything comes in one box. If you can have some help getting this thing down into your workshop or wherever you're at, I had to bring it down from the front and it was just massive. But you can check how everything is packed nice and tight. You can see everything comes nice and packed. And I just wanted to show you this before I get it all laid out because I mean, this box weighs probably a hundred pounds or so. When I get this thing together, I don't know how I'm gonna go ahead and move it, but all right, let's go ahead and get it from here to there and we're gonna get it built. Here we go. All right guys, so we've got it all out of the box and we got it laid out on the desk up here. I'm gonna tell you, this is pretty awesome. 90% of this thing is pre-assembled. It comes out of the box just like this. This base was already put together. I will tell you, you're gonna have to check all of the screws. I believe they pre-assemble these and do a testing before they send them out and I could tell that they do so because all of these little holes right here, which the four bolts that are on this side go into, these have already been put on and used. Another thing was this plate was a little bit loose and then these right here on this side, this screw you can see is a little bit loose. I already tried to set this over the edge to kind of see how it fits. It doesn't just slide on. I think what I'm gonna have to do is loosen up this end, get it into place. What that's gonna do is kind of loosen that up a little bit kind of put it on and then tighten everything back up. All the Z-axis was already put together. You can see these really awesome NEMA motors. Here's the controller box. Here is the belt. The only other thing though that I can see, it didn't come with any instructions. There's no instructions in the box. I looked everywhere. We're gonna go ahead and just get this assembled really quick. Shouldn't take me too long. Uh, I'll let you know of any quirks that I come up with. Shouldn't be too bad, but with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and get this thing put together. All right guys, so we went ahead and we got the machine completely put together and I'm going to say that this has to be one of the easiest machines that you're going to put together. Unfortunately, it didn't come with any instructions for me. Maybe those were missed in the box. They did message me and said they're pr they, they definitely want me to give them any feedback and one thing I want to say is add instructions into the box because <laughs> I didn't get any. But other than that, super easy to install. I'm going to say congratulations to them on the wiring loom and or the uh, wiring track because the last machine, I did not like the way they put it together, but this one was extremely, extremely easy. Everything fit perfectly. These tools are the only tools that I used personally that did not come with the box. I used all the Allen wrenches that came with. I used these little nips to cut one of the zip ties that I put. I used this little tiny screwdriver. That way I can screw in these little tiny plugs that go into the motors. And I also used a an angle. That way I can make sure that as best by eye that I can make sure that everything is perpendicular and vertical and parallel to the way that it should be so when the machine runs. There's something that I've been wanting to make and we're gonna use this machine to do it. We're gonna cut some uh, templates for some skateboards. So stay tuned uh, tomorrow. Well, in a couple seconds, we're going to come back, which is going to be tomorrow for me. We're going to go ahead and do this project. Now, the only other thing I might do is put on a spoil board. Let me show you real quick. I have a couple pieces of MDF hiding over here. I think what I might do is go ahead and do the double tape method, glue these down and get this down off camera. So we'll have a spoil board as well, because I'm going to be cutting all the way through and I don't want to ruin this spoil board. But so far, so good. This Axis Create 6060, which is 
almost 24 inches. I think it's like 23.9 inches by 23.9 inches on working space. Super happy with it. This is absolutely awesome, but I'm going to tell you it's extremely heavy. All right, guys, so it is the next day and I have everything lined up and good to go on the Axis Create. And I'm gonna tell you that I'm super happy right off the bat. We're gonna do a test cut now. I have a file here on Easel. I got the machine installed. I have everything ready to go. You can see right here, I have the blue tape method that I did this piece of wood. This is 14 and a half inches by seven and a half inches for the project that we're going to cut. I have an end mill here of a one eighth inch bit. Now that has a one and a half inch depth cut. Now I don't have a dust shoe yet on this machine. So we're gonna go ahead and just send it without any uh, dust collection. And what we're gonna cut today is we're gonna make these really cool skateboard racks. These are something that just mount on the wall. Pretty excited to see what happens. I got the spindle cranked up all the way to number six, which is a, I believe supposed to be the 30,000 RPM setting. I went ahead and I made sure that all of my settings are correct in easel, and I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically get rid of all of this. And then what we'll go ahead and do is send the project to the machine and see how it does for the very first uh, cut. But uh, we'll go ahead and home everything in and then get it dialed in and we should be good to go. Alright guys, that is it. That is a video. This Axis Create 6060 CNC machine is an absolute beast. Right out of the box, probably takes you about 15 to 20 minutes to put together. Unfortunately, I didn't get any instructions with the machine, but luckily I've done enough of these machines to know how to assemble it and to basically plug everything in. If you do have any questions or if you're having any troubles, definitely give me a message and I'll do my best to help you out with that. Another thing was, unfortunately, these router spindles that they send, it's not really a spindle, it's a router that's pretty inexpensive, but like I said, they're pretty disposable. You can hook up any spindle to this and it will work perfectly. But the one that came with, it is a router and unfortunately the little button right here broke, but you can see now I'm able to uh, 
to get it to work, no problem. The thing is, they advertise this as a 23.6 by 23.6 inches of workspace. I'm gonna tell you, I'm actually getting 24 inches out of this in both axis, the Y and X axis. You can see right here, I'm zeroed in at the machine and I have my software set up at a 12 inch move. And let's go ahead and move it twice and I'm gonna show you it's gonna move 24 inches. That is dead on 12 inches. Do it one more time. Twenty four inches right off the bat and I probably can even go another millimeter or two, but I don't want to push it. But I'm definitely getting twenty four inches out of the Y axis and I already know I'm set up at twelve. So let's go to the X axis. Twelve inches. and 12 inches. It's actually gonna hang over. We're gonna move it to the front and you're gonna see right here that it's gonna be over this board just a little bit. So let's move it to the front. Check that out right there. 24 inches of movement total. All right guys, that is it. That is the video. If you like this video, go down below, hit the like button. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. I got a bunch of new videos coming up that are gonna be more DIY projects, how-to videos, and uh, just some more all around awesome videos on these machines. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. But until the next video, make sure I'll do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.